Well, hey guys, welcome back to another Hunley Garage. I ended up having uh, Bateria Power uh, reach out to me and asked if I'd do a review on their solar charge controller, and it looked like it was compatible with my solar panels. And it's really low profile, so I said, sure. So, um, just kind of opening this up with you. Um, looks like we've got a connector or a thing there and a user manual. <clears throat> and then we've got the uh, actual solar charger itself. So it's a really low profile unit here. So give me a second here and I'll uh, show you the specs. So I've opened this up a little bit and uh, pretty nice little uh, low profile unit. It says um, 12 volt max is 30 volt open and uh, my solar panel here is um, open circuit 23 so I'm below that. And then it says rated current is 20 amp. And if I hook two of these up, it's only five amp for one, it'd be 10 on both in an open, um, yeah, so it'd be eight. <clears throat> so I'm well within. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm thinking of doing is sticking this in this battery box. Um, I just use this because I had it. Um, I could stick this guy down inside of here. I'm wanting to take all of this completely out and redo it anyway. And so what I'm thinking is do I, um, cause my solar panel, um, my, the, uh, what are those MC4s? coming to here I've already got a connector for it I can plug it into here but I need to get this guy to hit my battery and I've already got this in here and so if I took this out I could at least make it work and see how this goes um, because I haven't put much on this side because that solar charger was bigger and this one's this one will fit right down inside there so what I'm thinking of doing is um, taking that out and putting this in. It's been a while since I've kind of messed with this. Uh, definitely um, time to kind of take this apart and redo it. Uh, a lot of you guys have noted I didn't put fuses in here. Um, I think I had one little fuse in here, but um, it was kind of more of a proof of concept. I wanted to see uh, how this worked, how this worked, if I could even cut through this plastic. I got some little teeny fans um, so I could kind of suck in there and kind of blow out this way. Um, these will work. You know, how can I get power in and out? Um, to, would this run that fridge? Stuff like that. So. <clears throat> it uh it worked and a lot of people liked it so at any rate these are a couple hundred bucks and this is not so this might be a good um charger i could also maybe because this is small enough might be able to get an ac one in there that'd be pretty cool to be able to get this charger and then i could also throw in an AC charger. I don't know if my little Victron is small enough or not. There's that one. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's too, I think it's too big still to throw in there. Oh, that'll sit, sit right there. Hate for that to hit my car. So this is still kind of big. I like my Victron stuff, but <clears throat> um, it may still work in there. I have to cram, cram that guy in and uh, 
get both of those in there, I think. I don't know. And it, and it could get hot. So at any rate, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take the Victron out. Um, because this has been sitting, and I'm at a... Uh, 92% and this battery which you guys have asked for me to take this apart and show you how I put this in this was like cramming 10 pounds in a one pound bag but I think it turned out pretty good this guy's still sitting at 100% um, and they were both charged so I think I gotta get this off so I'm gonna uh, I need to get a tripod so I can film me doing it, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop that off and uh, uh, put this guy in. All right, so what I've done, this is a rat's nest. This I'm going to strip this out and redo it, so you guys will get another video. But um, I ended up taking this in and connecting it here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is hook one panel up to here first and then I'll hook it into the battery after I get it set up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I've uh, plugged this in and it says Air 1. Um, I think, so this has positive and then it goes to negative, but this plugs in to the positive of my solar panel. So I gotta see what error one is. All right, so it'd only work on one panel, which is 80 watts, which I gotta turn around this way. This is saying it's getting uh, 46 watts, almost three and a half amps. Um, this guy down here is saying 13 sunny out I can't see it there we go 13.4 at three and a half amps um, so it'll be interesting to see what that uh, charges it up at I can't really get the uh, app to work I mean the app works but um, I'll show you some screenshots I can't really they don't match like what the things doing so I might try to reset the app but the solar, solar charge controller is working right now. So I'll put up here in the screen, I ended up resetting the app and uh, hooking it back up to this and it seems like it works and shows the same information. So I'm going to see if I can show what this guy shows and then put up in the screen um, over here what the app shows. So I think they're showing the same thing. So we'll go ahead and uh, see what this guy charges up to. Um, I don't know why I can't get my other panel in there. I gotta read in here and see if I've tripped it out, but I thought two panels would be okay. So I figured out why I can't do two. So I'm getting about 17 volt or or a little bit more out of the panel and the max volt uh, at 12 volt is uh, 30 30 volts of solar um, so I'm peaking over it by 32 32 volts I saw the 60 max 60 and I thought it, it's at 24 volt for a 24 volt battery so that's why so I can only plug one in at a time, which is fine. Um, it's not a bad little charger. It's smaller. So, getting pretty good uh, input right now. So 47 watts. This says it'll take two hours. So I'll go ahead and let it charge and see what it does. So here's after running for a while. The uh, sun's starting to set a little bit, but um, this battery, it says 100% because of uh, the way it tracks, and uh, it's still pumping out 30 watts, and that's because of um, the way this is programmed. So I think this is programmed uh, to 
LifePo 14.2. So it's going to want to charge for a while. I usually don't go that high. But um, seems to work good. It's not hot at all. It's not, not hot at all. So I think I might stick that guy in there. Um, seems to work well. Well, the sun is going down and I think I got a full charge off of that. So it's 100%, 13.4 volts. So happy with that. Um, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna clean up this rat's nest. I think I'm gonna tear it all out of there. I'll take the uh, other uh, solar charger out and uh, put this guy in but I think it did pretty good. Um, what I'll do is uh, share on the screen uh, some of the voltage it has on there or the information. So as you can see on there, it looks like it got 131, 132 watt hours uh, put back in the battery to get it a full charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unhook this and I'm gonna go ahead and post this video. I'm pretty happy with this. Thought it turned out pretty good. Um, shows 100%. And uh, I think the next video, video I, I'll do, I'm going to rip all this out and put it back together. And then I'll put uh, how much each of the components are, make a list. And um, yeah, go from there. I think taking that out and putting this in will give me a little bit more room. I've got to find a wall charger as well and um, a bus bar and some fuses uh, before I do that but yeah thanks for watching um, got that guy in there I think that's pretty cool I'll probably do a couple more videos with that but I think it turned out real well well guys just wanted to do a recap on this um, this is that uh, Batira power solar it's an MPPT solar charge controller um, it does do 12 and 24 volt, which is pretty cool. Um, it also does uh, different kinds of batteries. It'll do like the uh, AGM, sealed, lead acid, and then of course the uh, uh, lithium iron phosphate. It also has temperature compensation um, so that it, can, uh, it knows when to turn itself off if it gets too hot. Um, it is an MPPT solar charge controller, so it's not one of the cheap ones. Um, the other is, is this sucker's waterproof. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, the uh, Victron's not. Um, and then uh, it's got a built-in Bluetooth as well, and uh, it's pretty low profile. I mean, the Victron, um, this one right there, it's not really fair because it'll handle a lot more uh, panels. But, you know, for the average everyday user and, you know, me as well, I don't only have um, 160 watts. And if I run the panels in parallel, not series, um, I can have them both on here. So um, I wanted to let you or kind of provide that update. I think Rodotos, they're gonna send me another battery and uh, they have a BMS and an AC charger. So I'm trying to see if I can get that. And so I think with their BMS, the AC charger, and then I'll take this guy and plug it in here. And then with that um, alfalfa uh, AC um, inverter, it's going to be a pretty awesome setup. So stay tuned for more videos. They're going to be coming out. Um, now that it's getting cold, I'm going to be working uh, down here in my basement. But um, yeah, kind of excited about it. Uh, I'll put some links uh, in the video below to this. And uh, I don't know, try it out. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Um, I need to grow this channel up. I only have like 200 subscribers and get like 17,000 views. So it doesn't cost you anything. Helps me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs so that I can get monetized and then I can get like $4 a video from YouTube. But uh, anything helps. Um, also check out my website. 
uh, camppravo.com. Um, I'm going to try to get a website, uh, Hunley Garage. And um, let me know in the comments any uh, suggestions, if I should change the channel name or not. But, um, yeah, appreciate you watching. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.